Hello, and welcome to another lecture in interventional radiology. Today, we're going to be looking at vascular anom anomalies of the inferior vena cava. So we'll jump right in. First of all, we're going to talk about normal anatomy. It's always important to know what is normal. If something doesn't look exactly that, we know that we have some sort of anomaly, whether it be just a normal variant or in some cases, a pathological structure uh, formation. So we always start with normal, and here we go. So we have the uh, diaphragm superiorly. Let's start with the arterial side. We have the thoracic aorta coming and changing into the abdominal aorta at the um, juncture of the diaphragm. And it courses inferiorly. We have the left and right renal arteries. Of course, the right kidney is always inferior to the left one because of the large liver that sits above it. So that pushes it inferiorly. So the aortic goes down, pulses down into the uh, pelvis and then bifurcates into the left and right common iliac. Here we have the iliacs coming up, it conjoins and makes the inferior vena cava and it goes up and ends at the, um, at the right atrium after it passes through the diaphragm. Okay, so interesting that the aorta has a new name when it passes through the diaphragm, but the inferior vena cava is the inferior vena cava from the time it conjoins here inferiorly till the time it enters into the right atrium of the heart. All right, so that is that. Uh, there are several things that can happen with the inferior vena cava that is just a normal variant. So here we're gonna take a look at four of them. Transposition of the IVC. Uh, superiorly here, it is, uh, the IVC is correctly positioned or normally positioned to the right of the aorta. And as we move down, it changes side. So it is tra transposed. So the importance of this is when you are uh, trying to do a stick down in the groin, the acronym, the navel, N-A-V-E-L, nerve, artery, vein, empty space, ligament, is now reversed. So it's N-V-A-E-L. So it, it changes. So you have to be careful of that. Uh, this is rather, all of these are rather rare, but they do occur. So the aorta comes down. We have the IVC on the right side. Partway through, it switches sides and now is on the opposite side that it normally is. Duplication of the IVC. There are several variants that we're gonna be looking at next to see some more details of this. So the, the aorta comes down normally. And instead of having one inferior vena cava, we have a duplicate one on the opposite side of the aorta and it comes up and it dumps into the left renal vein and then transfers over and joins up with the other inferior vena cava. All right, and here we have, you can see that here where the IVC is on both sides of the aorta. Circumaortic left renal vein. So here you have a duplication. You have the normal left renal vein that comes anteriorly and dumps into the inferior vena cava but you also have some sort of duplication where it goes and courses posteriorly between the aorta and the vertebral column, and it joins back up. So you have both an anterior and posterior segment surrounding the aorta, and they can join, in the, or they join up with the inferior vena cava. Uh, Retroaortic left renal vein. So this is very similar to the circumaortic but it doesn't have the anterior segment. It just has a posterior segment coursing between the vertebral column and the aorta, as you can see here. So it goes posteriorly. Okay, let's switch over and take a look at a case study. So this is radiopedia. And we're taking a look at the circumaortic left renal vein. All right, so for orientation, you have the spinal column, aorta. This is probably the uh, celiac trunk coming out because you have a splenic and a 
uh, hepatic segment of there that join up later. You can see that inferior vena cava, the vascular system of the liver is demonstrated here. Here we can see the left kidney. It's because it is more superiorly located. The right kidney will be underneath here, underneath the liver. Here we have the spleen and the intestines. Okay. So going inferiorly, so we're moving farther down the body. There's a nice shot of the uh, vessel going over to the liver, the hepatic segment. I'm going to keep on going down. We're looking for renal arteries and veins. So we haven't hit them yet. There we have. So this is an arterial phase of the scan because the aorta has bright contrast and the superior vena cava has uh, a weak load. So it's, it's definitely um, arterial phase of this scan. So we have some bright contrast going in. So this would be the left renal artery. So we're continuing to course inferiorly. We're getting into the right kidney now. Here's our vascular system still. It's going down. It was joined. And this is going to join up with the aorta. All right, so the blood's coursing this way. Now we have a structure here. It is vascular, but it is darker. So this will be our left renal vein. So as we keep on going down, you can see that this segment is coming around anteriorly and is going to hook up with the inferior vena cava here. We also have this vessel. Now, let's take a look at both of these as we go inferiorly. Okay, so we're still getting that. Here is the left renal artery and there's the right renal artery. It's gonna come on over this way. So let's keep on our focusing here as we go inferior and we're still going down, okay? Now we have sort of a line here. So we have two different vessels. So we're out of that large vessel that went over and joined up with the inferior vena cava. Now we're looking at this structure. We're gonna go back up a slice. See, as you can see, it's sort of joined here. There's a little line here. That means that's a vessel wall between the, these two vessels here. So we're gonna go inferiorly again. We're taking a look at this segment. And as it inches its way over, it's rather small, but it's still going. Right there. There it passes between the aorta and the vertebral column. Boom, and there it joins up with the inferior vena cava. So that one coursed quite a bit inferiorly to join up. So it's quite long, okay? So let's take a look at the coronals. Here's a nice shot of the aorta and the, the renals coming out, going down to the bifur. Okay, so we're going posteriorly. All right, so let's look at that again. Now we're gonna go anteriorly. So aorta, right here, inferior vena cava. And let's take a look over here. So this is colon, correct? Um, probably this is a large intestine and small intestine. You know, that's not the focus of here. So back behind here is the kidney. And you can really see it anteriorly, you have uh, a vessel here and here. Let's go forward again. We're moving forward. There you have a split. One part goes up and in anterior to the aorta and it's gonna join. And this one is coursing inferiorly by quite a bit and it passes behind. See, it's, it's back here passes behind and goes over and intersects with the inferior vena cava. All right, so there is your circumaortic left renal vein. All right, let's go back over to our slideshow here. 
All right, so that covers this one. All right, so let's take a look at the uh, normal, normal anatomy again. And here's the duplication. There's several things can happen with the duplication. So normally it's going to split at the same level of, or approximately the same level as the aorta. It's going to conjoin at the same level. But here we have a duplication. So a left-sided segment will come up. So this, this IVC has pretty much the same caliber on the right side as the left side, the, the duplicated side. And it comes up and, and transverse. It, goes across the aorta, traverses it, and joins up with the inferior vena cava. Here we have uh, another type. This is the inferior vena cava. You have a very narrow right and a narrow left. So you have normal caliber, a stenotic um, caliber here. And then type three is one's going to be somewhat normal caliber, and the other one's going to be stenotic. All right, so you can tell that there might be some uh, backup or pressure changes in the, for example, the left side here because it's harder to push through at that uh, same volume rate as the larger caliber. So this one might uh, present with some issues. All right, so that's a duplication. Uh, another one is uh, a little more specific, right? So here we have a cadaver. We have the aorta coming down and splitting and splitting again. So common internal, external, right? So this normally, you'd have the vascular system come up through here on the venous side, and the iliacs would join here and then go up. However, this is a duplication. So you have the iliacs coming up and you have that duplication of the inferior vena cava as it goes up. It joins a fairly dilated left renal vein, and then that'll dump up into the inferior vena cava superiorly and move up to the, up to the heart. All right, so here we have the uh, kidney. We have a kidney coming right through here. Here's the hilum. And then the rest goes posteriorly. So you have the collecting systems go up here. You have this duplication go up and everything joins over and goes up to the right atrium. Okay. So there's several types here. This is the normal. So type 2A, for this study, type 2A, you have a duplication coming up to the left renal vein and then dumping in. Uh, for this variant, you have a interiliac vein. Okay, and this one flows from left to right. And in this one, the interiliac vein goes right to left. Let's back up a few seconds here. Uh, another one is a shunt that goes in between. And then here you have a total absence of the IVC on the right side. It's all on the left side and dumps directly into the left renal vein and then goes up and joins into the inferior vena cava um, after it passes through the right renal vein. Okay. And this is for further reading, if you so desire. Um, you will be able to take a look at some of the details I got from these articles here, if you are so inclined. So this is both the um, summary of where I got them, so works cited, and if you want to take a look, you can. Uh, this article is in Spanish, but uh, it has a free English translation in there. All right, so I hope you enjoyed this presentation and we will talk to you later.